Okay, and the last one is never stop me. I love that because, it, you know, the fact that you and your cousin came down here to Florida and you basically, I know for a fact because I was, you know, basically hounding you guys on, hey, we got to do this, we got to do that or whatever with the promo and just things like that. You know, you really are on your grind. You guys are willing to travel. You're willing to work real hard. Like, you know, and I feel for everything that you've done and the quality that you have in your hustle and your grind, it's paying off for you. But I really wanted to pay off big for you guys because compared to a lot of people that I've watched in this type of industry, especially underground, you guys are willing to go above and beyond. You know, you don't even know me that well and you know, you, you, you're willing to be a guest in my home, you know, you know, stay somewhere you've never been, period, for four days, you know, and, and you know, you've, you've been very respectful, very cool, and then when it's about work, it's about work. I want you to talk about um, Never Stop Me because Basically, that song that I heard, you basically showed me, like, personally, like, just watching you guys work, that you really are on your grind and nothing is going to stop you. Period. Alright, so, um, basically, what never stopped me, it was just, it was, it was something that I put together. And shout out to, um, my, you know, my producer, that dude that gives me beats, his name is Infamous. Infamous, okay. Yeah, he sent me, he sent me the track, uh, or whatever, and this was actually when I really started to get back into music. I, I've been rapping since I was about, I'm 23 years old now, I've been rapping right. since I was about 15, 14, 15, something like wow, that. Wow. I used to I used to go up to Massachusetts and record up there oh, wow. and everything like that. So, but, you know, I, I fell back off because of personal issues. Right, I like understand, that. I understand. So that's when I really started to get back on it. And luckily for me, I was able to link up with, with Karen and shout out to her. Yeah, you're great. I love yeah. your hooks. Like, Oh Lord, you know that's that's really nice. I personally, yeah. I personally, a little joke between us. I call her the queen of Kumba and R and B. She should be the queen. Her voice is nice. So you know, um, I linked up with her, and I was able to do that song. I, I, what I set out to do was really show mm -hmm. people that have heard me before and people that never heard me right. before that yo, listen, you can make music that sounds good. Right. You can give people what people in you know what I like to say bars. Bars. What is that? What bars. is that? Bars. 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 Oh, bars. 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 Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. The New York accent. New York accent for real. Bars. Bars for those who don't know. B-A-R-S. Bars. R Z. So that's basically what that was about. I wanted to showcase, you know, what I could do on the on track and just go hard. Okay. Well, you did. You did. And um, I want you guys to listen to Never Stop Me. Door, you can never knock them. Hoes, man, I pop them. Often I drop them. Off where I found them at because I got them okay. open like a hallway. Yeah. I, I could do this all day. This is just warm ups. You could call it four play. Uh -huh. Riding through the city slow. I'm looking like. And you know what, Brian the Millie Man, thank you so much for giving us the interview. Thank you for even coming out to Florida. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Well, nah, thank you because, you know, I, I feel like I'm with superstars, you know, like. I get amazed all the time. Shoot, I want Obama next, you know. Yes. Anyway, so um, you could give a little advice to like a young youth out there. You know, this is Haitian American Youth Online, and basically we try to promote those like you online. You know, show you that support, help you guys out any way possible. You know, and stuff like that. And um, I just want you to tell the youth out there that's trying to go the path that you're on right now. What may be an obstacle you went through, and how you overcome it, and then just give their advice on give them advice on how they can just keep on persevering. I mean, the the biggest thing that I would tell anybody is that I see a lot of a lot of dudes, a lot of people, you know, people younger than me, maybe some of my little cousins, a lot of people say they want to rap and things like that. But what people don't understand, they see the glitz, they see the glam, they don't see the hard work. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot, a lot of it. A lot yeah. of people going to give you flat. A lot, a lot of people will support you. Right. Um, a lot of people hope that you fail. And right. there's going to be a lot, a lot of grinding. And like people say, y'all grind. You don't get it. You gotta really go hard. And the biggest thing that somebody told me was, if you really, you gotta know that this is something that you really want to do. It can't be something that you say, y'all want to do it right now. Like I said, I had an instance where I almost just stopped. Oh, wow. So it has to be something that you really got to want to do because it's not, for some people, some people are lucky. I think game and having fame is yeah. six months. Right. So, but most people, it takes years. Years, right. Yeah, the, the big names that you know now, they've been rapping for 10, yep, you know, exactly. grinding. Not so much rapping. Even 20 years. They've been grinding for 10, 15 years yeah. before they get the big break. And I'm still chasing that break myself. Right, right. So hopefully I'm on that path, you know. You're on that path because, especially when you guys go to his channel on YouTube, 
The Millie Man One, D A M I L L I M A N Number One. You will see what we're talking about, and you'll be as angry as I am to see there is not more pushing him because I mean all his stuff is good, like one hundred, ten thousand. So you can see for yourself and understand why. Subscribe to his channel. You know, get those updates. I love waking up every morning and getting my little updates too. So you know, and um. He's worth it. He's really worth it. There's a lot of whack people out there that are getting a lot of attention. Yet, you know, he's got the grind, the hustle, the ability, you know, the talent. Okay? And on top of that, he's got a powerhouse of other people behind him that actually have the talent to even push all the quality products. The HD quality videos. You know, the, the mixing and mastering. The music's always on point. So a person like him deserves to get the type of support he's not getting yet. But he will be. Okay? So, um, thank you again. Brian the Millie Man, thank you for the interview. Thank you, yeah, thank you for coming out to Florida and everything, you know, bigging up my little company, my little small hair online. And um, this is your girl Nancy Francois again with Brian the Millie Man. This is another Hair Online interviews. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jay Gifted. Oh, you gotta say my name again. Brian the Millie Man. Ha. Ha. Okay. That's it. That's it. Brian the Millie Man. Ha. Okay, I got it. Alrighty. Thank you to Jay Gifted again, videography. Thank you, um, and just keep strong out there, and just know that if you've got a talent, you know, hit us up, heyonline.net, go to our contact page, we'd love to showcase you in the community, show what the true Haitian American is. Thank you.